Hi guys, welcome back to Johnny's Action Packed Guitar Stuff. Yo. Okay then, so I guess it's time to put our neck back on our uh, Eros. Eros. First, gotta change these machine heads back to those. So, let's get these off. I don't remember why, but I did put them on this crappy thing. So we've got to get those three off. Put them back on my original neck. D string's missing. So the D string is snapped. So let's get the strings off then. lose any screws. And there we have it. Now we have to get these ones off. Another bit of history to my guitar. Remember not dropping that on the wall and it chipped off. Rolls. About three different types of machine had been on there. You can see all the little holes where the other machine ends used to be. More history. So, let's get the neck back on. Tight. Now I can put the strings back on this and just prick myself as you normally do. Which reminds me, I went to the doctor yesterday for a blood test. The woman is an animal, the nurse. Stuck the needle in there first, no blood come out. Pulled the needle out, stuck it back in down there, no blood came out, pulled the needle out, stuck it in just there, loads of blood came out. That is our nurse at the doctor's. I think she's Dr. Shipman's sister. Now I feel like an heroin addict. Whenever you put strings on, give them a good stretching. About this old PC tower window. They'll draw around that. Whatever I'll cut it out with, I will have to be very careful. So we can but try. So now let's go and try and cut that out, if you can see it, wish me luck. 
Okay, so I think I'll try to drill the holes first. again before the wife comes back. And now the hard bit. I see the solid glasses on for this. I think the easiest bit is going to be to put that square out, isn't it? Too bad, I suppose. That's a bit thick. So that's the one plate made. I've sanded on the back because I didn't like the clearness of looking through onto the wiring. So they're the screws. They've got slight chamfer on them, which means if I screw them into there, they'll be sticking up slightly. The edges will be proud. So I've got to use a big drill try and chamfer a bit out. That's it. One down, one more to go. Not as easy as it looks. Lovely. Okay, so the next job I'm going to do is find the plate or the jack plug socket. And I know exactly where it is. It's on this thing. Just need that plate. I did actually buy this from the car boot. Five pound. Did have one pickup in there, but I bought this off eBay, 15 quid. Stuck it in there and it did work but a bit buzzy. I was actually thinking of getting this one working again as well, making it into a rap guitar. Just sticking all motorbike bits on it. What do you reckon? Would you like to see me make a guitar with all motorbike bits on it and paint it black? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So, let's get this out. A bit tight in there. Need something else to get that one done. Okay, couldn't undo it with the pliers. I've just got back from the shed. Found a little tube box spanner. Perfect. Perfect fit. What I want is the plate. Put the washer back on. Get the knot. A special tool. Perfect. 
don't know if that's it because it came off this guitar. Doing all this and we're still not sure if it works yet, are we? All we know is that it makes a buzzing noise when you tap these pickups. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Okay, well, just thinking about it. Really. Hopefully, it's all done. What we've got to do is put the bridge on. Watch the saddle don't fall out. Put the string retainer in. Put the strings on. And see where we go from there. I always use these strings because they are very, very cheap. We start with the G string first. Yep, let's start with the G string first. That puts the G string in. Find the hole. These little things keep falling out because there should be, like I say, a retaining spring clip thing around there. Let's try and put that down there carefully. Bring you in a bit closer. <coughs> so the G string goes into the third machine head. What I normally do is push it. Get the winder about there somewhere so the holes around about there. Push your wire through, take it all the way through, and just pull it back a bit of slack. And I normally bend the string round, pull it through, bring it back up underneath. That's how I do it. It's probably a better way of doing it, and I don't know. That's how I do it. And just wind it on. I would just say that when I had first started playing my guitar, I bought some new strings, and I had one going through this side, one going through that side, another one going through that side, you know what I mean? They were all in the wrong way. My brother says, you can't tune that up, you've got them all on wrong. Your strings have always got to come up and go through the inside. Up through the inside, inside, inside. And then you aren't messing about trying to tune up and it doesn't look silly. Oh, don't sound too good, does it? Catching on something. See if we can see what it's catching on. Looks like it's catching on the pickup. Well, the pickup is way too high. I think you have to do outwards. Screw anti clockwise, and that takes the pickup down. I just worked it out. We've got the G string on here. What? Just turn like that. And there we go. And I do also like to, because these are obviously very dangerous, just turn them into a loop. A lot of people just cut them off, but they're still very, well, not very dangerous, but they do make you bleed. When you pick the guitar up and it sticks in your finger or whatever. So I just like to make a loop. I leave the access on there. Then that's not going to stick in your finger if it's wrapped round 
inside there. Plus, if you snap a string, you might have enough to repair it. You might have enough slack to repair it, if you know what I mean. If you haven't got a spare string. So what shall we do next? The D, fourth string, like so. And then just do all the other four strings the same way. Okay, so that's all the strings on. Nice and neat. See if we can't tune it up. Got my other guitar here. Give your strings a good stretch. It's in tune now. As soon as you bend it. Goes out of tune. So you have to stretch all the strings in. Be careful with the eye strings because they snap very easily. Don't catch it. <laughs> yes, it's uh, very nice to see it all back together. Very, very nice. I'm glad it's all back together and looking like it used to do when I was playing it when I was about 20, 16, 20. I think I was playing it till I was about 30. And then it got uh, bits robbed off it sort of thing. And now I'm well chuffed. It's all back together. Yes, so chuffed it's all back together. Now we've just got to plug it in and see what it sounds like. But I'm getting cold and I need a refill. So a cup of coffee and put a jumper on and I'll be back and plug it in. Okay, got my jumper on and my coffee. Bloody freezing. Now I'm going to have to try and set my pedal up so you can see the tuning. Now then, I don't know how well you can see that. There's a little indicator there, but it goes up to the star, and it says E and star. You know your first string is in tune, so you just click it, and it's way down there. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Just tune the E string up. till it changes into a star like that. And then if you go to the 12th fret, I think you can see me, can you? Let's try and get the 12th fret in shot. If you go to the 12th fret, it should be in the same tune. Perfectly in tune open. Perfectly in tune, yes. So that one's okay. So then we go to the B string. That one's wandering about a bit. I think it's right because it is going back to the store every now and then. So if the intonation is out slightly, just adjust the screw on the saddles. But these all seem alright for some reason. 
So there we are, all tuned up. All done. End of the little series of restoring my 50 year old plush guitar. Look at it. I'm so happy that this is back together. It's just dawning on me how much I've missed it.
I see you in another life, brother.